If I was in my old stove doing this, I would be smoked out by now. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Lots of snow. Lots of snow in here. There's lots of snow outside too. I got a big drift outside. Right now it's minus 25 Celsius. That's about minus, uh, almost minus 15 Fahrenheit. And uh, it's going down to minus 34 tonight, which would be about minus 30 Fahrenheit. So minus 34 Celsius is about minus 30 Fahrenheit. And tonight, I am replacing my stove. I love this stove. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I've had great times with the stove, and even the other day, in one of my videos, I professed my love to the stove. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out because it's just chewing through wood. This thing is killing my wood supply this year. And um, so I've got something that's a little more fuel efficient. I, uh, I'm gonna test it out tonight, minus 34. And some of you might think that's crazy, but I feel pretty good about it. I've done it before and uh, everything's worked out. So this is now gonna be an outdoor like grill for me to cook on. Cause in the top of the stove, there is a grill and like a little area for me to like do a barbecue. So it's not going anywhere, but I'm gonna leave it outside. I'm, I'm gonna save myself a lot of room with this new stove. It's considerably smaller, as you'll see, I'll bring it in now. And uh, everything should fit. This should just slide right down into it. Good to go. This afternoon, um, I put it out on my deck and I got a really hot fire going in it and burned off all that paint. So I won't have any of those toxic fumes in here tonight. And, um, Hopefully it doesn't eat through my wood like this thing does. I love this stove. There's nothing like it. You can't find a stove like this. You can't. And um, it's, but it's just got too many, too many holes in the door area and uh, it smokes a lot. So let's see. So now this stove, is a lot smaller, but it's got some pretty cool features. It has a baffle that I'm gonna put in. It's got a heat shield for the bottom. It has a door that I had to modify that I'll talk to you about in a bit. That's frozen. Yeah, frozen good. Here it is. Now look at the difference in the size. I know a lot of you love this stove and, and I understand it's because it's so unique and it's so awesome and I get compliments on it all the time. People ask me where I, where I got it and I did buy it locally from a, from a guy who just builds these things. And uh, this stove is a Drolet. It comes from Quebec. It's made in Canada. And uh, it's, uh, let's see, it's called a Hunt stove. I, I did buy it. I'm not sponsored by these folks. But I did buy it, and uh, it's, it's uh, like the same you would pay for any stove, like a camping stove in Canada. You're looking at the three fifty to five hundred dollar range for something like this, and that's what I paid locally. So 
Uh, I'm going to just go for it here, folks. I'm going to set her up. Here she goes. And this thing is about four times as heavy as that. My fireproof mat. It's not the most attractive thing, but it's good. It works. Okay. This is the beauty of having a camp like this. I really want to thank the sponsor of this video and that is Squarespace. One thing I really love about Squarespace is being able to use the photographs that I capture while I'm out here at my tent. I love being able to go in and make a camping log or, or add some news about my channel on my website and just adding photographs that make sense. And it's a great place for me to showcase what I'm capable of as a photographer. And if you're a photographer, and you've been thinking about making a website, Squarespace is a great place to start. It's very easy to use, the templates are beautiful, and you know they, they want you to use your photographs. They want you to make it look how you want it to look. Head to squarespace.com slash jlegere to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using code jlegere. Wow, that's so much smaller. What a difference. Okay, so like I said, this comes with a baffle. And so it's going to create a secondary burn. The smoke's gonna go like this and out the chimney. Okay, so I just slide the baffle in like that. So the smoke will come through here over top of the baffle there's an opening in the stove that's pretty neat now I gotta figure out about this Let me see come down okay I might have myself in a situation here I do Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. I gotta I gotta take this out and I gotta switch this pipe right here. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. So I'm thankful that I have this here, because I didn't bring my drill with me. 
because I just didn't think I would need it. burn this tonight. That'll be good firewood right there. Yeah, of course you don't want to mend me. Oh, look how close that is, guys. Look how close. It's like just a little lip right there. I don't know if I need to do the whole thing. Probably do, yep. Where do you want to be? You want to be like this, eh? Okay. Yes. All right. Now. Okay. Okay. What a difference. I think I'm just gonna center that. Got some bricks in there. First fire. And the new stove in the tent. Let's do it. Okay. Now, if I was in my old stove doing this, I would be smoked out by now with this door open. So this is one advantage already that I like. I can get a lot of wood in the stove. There we go. So this door has the smallest draft in the history of stoves. So this afternoon, I got myself a Dremel. And drilled a hole in this thing. So as you guys can see, it's got a very small draft. And uh, it was like one tenth that size when I first got this. So I just took a Dremel to it and cut open a little hole. And that's how she closes. Just like that, that's all it is. There is a really good draft right now, so I'm happy with that. But I think what I'm gonna do, what I hope to do, is to actually cut this whole area out or get someone to do it and then um, put on a proper draft.
in the 15 minutes I've had this thing go and I can tell you that it is hot as hot can be and I mean ridiculous hot and I've got it closed off completely so I know that tonight I will actually be up more than I want to be filling the stove it's gonna burn down pretty quickly I need to put a, a damper in my uh, my chimney 100% and that will really slow things down you can hear the snow is uh, starting to slide off the roof of the tent because it's getting so hot in here. There we go. I'm gonna have a little coffee. And this t this stove is cranking heat. It's so small and it's just outputting a, an immense amount of heat right now. Like once I put the damper in, it's gonna really change things. It's gonna slow things down because I've got it closed all the way here in the front and it's still really drawing in some air and just feeding the stove like it's it's pumping out this has got to be a thousand degrees here it's so ridiculous listen to how fast this goes now if i want to keep it nice and hot but not boiling i mean that that fits perfectly there that's going to be a nice little cooktop and i can just put that there it's not going to kick into a boil mode it's just going to stay nice and hot. So that's cool. And it looks cool. It looks cool. Oh, 8.30 and I'm having a coffee and that stove is hot. Wow. This is a wood stove episode, by the way. I love, I do one every year. I uh, did one last year when I brought that big gigantic thing in. I'll, I'll put a link here, wherever it goes. And uh, yeah, I, I had quite the adventure doing, you know, my wood stove episode last year. And, um, and I, I'm, you know, I, I don't think I'm gonna do it every year, but I have a fondness for wood stoves, let's say that. Are you opening up the door you're crazy you're letting all the heat out i am letting a bit of heat out steady at 20 degrees in here but that <laughs> i don't have the greatest sense of smell and i can smell that so i want the the smell to go outside and to invite all the wolves no that's not what i want i want the smell to get out of the tent so that way the tent doesn't smell like fish it will a bit but having a breeze rush through will definitely make it not smell so delicious now the salmon fell apart a little bit but look at that oh my gosh wow perfect fish is something you cannot overcook you will ruin it it will taste terrible it'll be dry that is perfect oh Man, this is like a 9.30 supper for me. And I'm gonna crack a Bud Light. Old fashioned beer, cannot beat it. Get that butter in there, all melty. Okay, here's the taste test. Salmon first. Oh man. 
this is. Yes, this is the opposite of craft dinner and hot dogs. Both very good. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the morning. It's uh, it's cold. It's cold in here, really cold. It's like five degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I cannot wait to get a damper for my, my chimney because um, that stove, even when it's closed, will chew through wood without a damper. I mean, there were times last night I just heard it sucking, just sucking power, just like, and I mean, it did okay, it did. And this sleeping bag, by the way, I'm in this minus 40 sleeping bag here. That thing is incredible. Like, I had the warmest sleep. Like, in this sleeping bag, I was super, super warm, and I didn't want to get out this morning. And now that I'm out, I'm chilled. And I've got the stove opened a little bit. So I woke up, there were three times I put wood on that stove. And it's been about nine hours since I went to bed. And I'm okay with the temperature of the tent dropping down to this temperature when I have a sleeping bag like this. If it wants to go down to zero, I'm fine with it. I'll put my, my hat on, my toque. I'll jump in the sleeping bag and I'll be fine. Like I'll be perfect. Draft there. It's been about 25 minutes since this thing has been plugged in. Let's see.
Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. It's been a great trip. I got that stove installed. It's working fine. The snowmobile is working fine. The food was delicious. It was cold, and that's what I love. I love when it's cold, and my sleeping bag was super warm. Overall, it was an amazing trip, and I just want to thank you guys for watching. I'll be back really soon.